what is Ada and Eben. Ada and Eben is the governmental um, or the, the authority or the governmental authority of the Benin Empire. So all the kingdoms that have this Ada and Eben is known as the Benin Empire or the Benin Kingdom. Thanks for clicking on this channel. Please subscribe to AFO's blog history and click on the notification button so that whenever we upload a new video you will be notified. The connectivity of Arda and Elban in Benin Kingdom and other kingdoms in Africa. We are going to look at the significance Arda and Elban as well as their origin. Who invented this paraphernalia? Ogiso Air invented Ada and Eben. Let's look at the origin of Arda and Elben scepter as symbols of authority in Benin Kingdom. We are also going to listen to a spokesman of United Kingdom of Great Benin, UKGB, as he explains the significance of Arda and Elben. Arda and Elben are symbols of authority used in the Benin Kingdom. People mistakenly confuse Arda and Elben for swords, they are not swords. Arda and Elben were introduced to Igodumi Goto during the Ogiso dynasty. Benin was formerly called Igodumi Goto. According to history, it was Ogiso Air who introduced Arda and Elben. Ogiso Air invented the famous African kingship paraphernalia which includes the Arda, a sword of honor, Elben, a sword for dancing. There have been two eras in the Benin kingdom. The Ogiso era and Oba era. Ogiso literally refers to King of the Sky. The following are important facts worthy of note about Ogiso Air. Ogiso Air was simply the most dynamic and most decorated ruler of all the Ogisos in the first dynastic phase of Benin monarchical era. The symbolism of Arda and Elben is not just the symbolism of Benin Kingdom insignia but it portrays the historical tenacity and traditional uniqueness of the Benin people. Arda and Elben are made by Igonequa blacksmiths. The brassmiths can also make brass Arda and Elben with exclusive permission from the Oba. These two emblems are not swords, neither are they weapons for war, but are weapons for authority proclamation and ceremonial. The Arda is the superior emblem, and it takes precedence, wherever it appears, over the Elben. While both Oba and the chief stance with Eben. Arda is only carried by the Humata during public appearances of the Oba. The Oba can never appear in any gathering without Arda nor move about even in his palace without it. All chiefs are invested with the authority to possess the Elben. But it is only a number of them who are additionally conferred with the right to possess the Arda. Titles that have this right are called Agi Arda. In Old Benin, an Enogie, or Ove, in Horobo land, could not order the execution of any of his subjects unless the right to possess the Arda had been conferred on him by the Oba of Benin. The Egi, Arda chiefs of the Ogiso era, notably the Huzama nobles, the Aliha, the Edohen, the Elho, the Aholer Nehe, hoisted their Arda as they made their way through the streets of Benin to the Ogiso palace, and later, with the change of dynasty, to the Oba palace at Huzama. But some 750 years ago when Oba El Weldo came to the throne and moved from Husama to the Agbe, Ogiso Nuzamakan, the present Benin palace site, he engineered the loss of that right by the Egi Arda chiefs. Since that time no other person is allowed to carry Arda in the presence of the Oba of Benin with his own carried by Humada. Once again, Arda is the sword of state, authority, while the Elben is a ceremonial sword, the Arda must at all times be on the right side of the Oba or any king or chiefs that have ancestral connections to ancient throne of the Benin monarch. Arda and Elben form the basis of which Benin is recognized all over the world and it attests the political and traditional influence Benin has over a wide range of other ethnic nationalities in which the beauty of Arda and Elben stand aloft as it is the symbol of the greatness of our past since it was first used by Ogiso Air about 2000 years ago. Please sit down and listen to the spokesman of UKGB as he explains further. Greetings my prince and my princess of United Kingdom of Great Benin Empire. May God Almighty and our ancestor bless you all and grant us all wisdom and understanding to rebrand and rebuild ourselves as a people and as a nation. Uh, we'll be discussing today about our connectivity as a people 
which is the Ada and Ebe. I know that many of you have seen this in your territory and in your kingdom. Perhaps you may not fully know what it means, but today we're going to be discussing it as family so that we actually know what is Ada and Eben. Ada and Eben is the governmental um, or the, the authority or the governmental authority of the Benin Empire. So, all the kingdoms that have this Ada and Ebe is known as the Benin Empire or the Benin Kingdom. This Ada and Ebe, which stretches all the way from what we know to southern Nigeria today to Republic of Benin, Togo, Ghana, and even to Angola. Recently, the ambassador of Angola to Nigeria make a speech that he came to the city of Benin because his ancestry is Benin. And so for that reason, it is his responsibility to come around, not just only as an ambassador, but as a son of the, of the soil. Oba, that Oba Esige was there seven years later before the, the Portuguese came and take position of the land. So, what are we trying to explain or discuss is how the Bini Kingdom or Empire was built. First, I want everybody to understand that Benin is a nation or a kingdom or an empire. So meaning Benin is not a tribe. Inside the Benin, you have different tribes connected together, either by blood or by the Ada and Ebe. And these people build a kingdom, an empire that become great and that was known as Beni Empire. So all the kingdoms that was in the empire, he takes kingdoms and kingdoms and kingdoms to be together to become an empire. So all the kingdoms that is connected together through Ada and Eben all as family came together and as a people that was how we became so strong that the whole world marvel at the greatness of the people of Benin. I will be giving you names of where you can find Ada and Eben. In today current state a country called Nigeria, you can find this Ada and Ebe in most parts of the southern part of Nigeria, starting from Eko to Ogun to Ondo, Ekiti, Edo, Delta, Bayesa, Rivers, Aqua Ibo. Anambra, Imo, Enugun, Benue, Kogi. So, I urge each one of you to look inward and look into your territory once again. When you find this, know that this is why you will be referred to as Great Benin. And know that you are Benin. So, 
as citizens of this great nation, it is our responsibility and our duties to build ourselves, to reprogram ourselves, not just for the betterment of ourselves, but for the betterment of humanity at large. Now is the time for all of us to come together as a family and let us address once and for all the interception of the Great Benin Empire, which occurred in the year 1897, done by the British. It's our responsibility, our legal right to also do so. Let it be known that as Benin people, it is our responsibility, not only as a people, also it is the responsibility of Africa, black race, and the humanity at large to protect the kingdom of Great Benin, to nurture it and build it. Because the Benin kingdom is the cradle of black civilization. We must keep it alive. We must build it. We must showcase it again to the world, just the way our ancestors did it. I urge all prince and princess, all the great citizens of our great land, to continue to put in their best in nation building. As we build ourselves, it will be known once again that the era of greatness, not only for the people of Benin, but of black race, as Africa, have come again. We, as a people, as Africa, we are the light of the world. And that light starts from Benin. As we put our hands together, as we rebrand and reposition ourselves, I urge everybody to be strong and put in their best. Join us as we march together as one family for a better world, for a, a new world for ourselves and for our unborn children. May God Almighty and our ancestors continue to bless all the citizens of our great nation. May goodness and mercy be upon you all, that everything we lay our hands to do, we shall prosper. Let us continue to put in our best. Thank you all for giving me your listening ear. Thank you.